Hey guys, Notch Kazi here. Welcome back to another awesome video. In today's video, I'm gonna discuss Sassy and why Sassy is the future of WAN or wide area network technology and how it brings the different elements of WAN and security together to create this fabric of sci-fi style next generation technology that is very secure and can meet the demands of today's digital business requirements. With that, let's roll. Let's get right into it. The first thing we'll discuss today is the new WAN trends, then what is SASE, and finally, what's in it for me, or WIIFM, everyone's favorite radio channel. Let's go ahead and dive right in. There are two big WAN trends that are happening on a global scale, cloud and edge. Let's do a deep dive into each. From a cloud perspective, what we're seeing is there's a lot of activity happening from private cloud into the public cloud. In particular, apps and data are moving into the public cloud providers at the speed of light. It's happening globally because it's saving companies a ton of money, plus it's offering all kinds of resiliency regionally, globally, and protects against disasters. And it's saving companies a lot of money because they don't have to buy everything up front. Instead, they can turn CapEx into OpEx and utilize services on a pay-as-you-go model instead of having to pay everything all up front. So that is a significant financial engineering opportunity that is presented to corporations and the edge is changing so in the old when what we had was a data center that was at the center of our universe and then we had all these office locations that would go back and connect with the data center and data center is where we had the primary internet gateway and we had all the firewalls and all the security stack and ran optimization and everything else. But that is now changing. And it was primarily a hub and spoke topology for the most part. And that is no longer the case. What we're seeing now in the new world is we still have the office locations and the data center but what we're seeing now is a proliferation of remote users and BYOD devices or bring your own devices that these users are bringing to the table. And on top of it, we're seeing a big move into the cloud, whether SaaS, PaaS or IaaS, and we're seeing this big shift happening. And now data center is no longer the center of the universe, the cloud is. That's the biggest change that we're seeing. And this change is prompting us to look at things differently. And this is where SASE comes in. So what is SASE? SASE stands for Secure Access Service Edge. It's pronounced SASE. It's a new buzzword that was introduced by Gartner last year in 2019. And it's a combination of network plus security. What does that mean? Let's dive into each component. From a network perspective, it's SD-WAN or software defined WAN. If you wanna learn more about SD-WAN, I will provide a link down below and I'll also provide a link at the top that you can click on and watch my video on SD-WAN. I actually did a bunch of videos in SD-WAN so you'll get to learn a ton. Also, SASE includes WAN optimization, things like deduplication and WAN acceleration route optimization, intelligent traffic steering, application aware routing, quality of service, DPI or deep packet inspection. It's a combination of all that. And from a security standpoint, what we have is a combination of firewall as a service, which used to be called a cloud-based firewall, but we now call it firewall as a service. In particular, includes two components, NGFW or next generation firewall, and NGIPS or next generation IPS. Secure Web Gateway is the next big component. That includes URL filtering, malware detection and prevention, DNS security, 
It could also include DLP or data loss prevention. And CASB, your cloud access security broker that acts as a proxy service and sits between the users at the source and the destination that we're trying to access and prevents different type of attacks from happening. And finally, ZTNA or Zero Trust Network Access. Here, the idea is there's no trust unless the users have been authenticated, they do not get access to anything, whether it's users, devices, or apps, they must be provided explicit access ahead of time. And unless they're authenticated in real time, they do not get access to anything. And the whole idea here is it's all based on identity of the user instead of the IP address. And that's a big shift. We used to program our ACLs and everything else around IP addressing, but now it's all identity based. Things like Active Directory or if you are a Cisco shop, ICE or Identity Services Engine. So you identify the person or the device that is trying to access something and based on their profile, they get certain type of access to the network. That's the whole idea of zero trust. And all that leads to WIIFM, which happens to be everybody's favorite radio channel. What's in it for me? There are three key benefits of SASE. One, enhanced security. As I alluded to, in the realm of SASE, security and SD-WAN come together and they provide enhanced security because now we have different layers of protection at the source, at the edge of the cloud, as the traffic leaves the cloud, as the traffic comes back. So we have this full spectrum security analysis capability built into the solution. On top of it, because SD-WAN provides deep packet inspection and the ability to, to decrypt at wire speed, we now have the ability to look deep into the traffic patterns and identify what's really going on. It provides not only great visibility into the end-to-end -end environment, so now you know we can correlate the security logs with the network logs and understand what was happening at a particular moment in time, but it also provides a converged single pane of glass, a true single pane of glass. Instead of having multiple panes of glass, we now have one system that we log into that gives us visibility into our entire fabric into our WAN and also the security combined with it. It's very powerful. And all that leads to f this technology being extremely financially prudent because what we're doing now is instead of dealing with multiple vendors, we now will deal with either a single or dual vendors for the most part. Eventually where this technology is gonna lead to, I think it's gonna come down to picking one vendor that can deliver it all but as of today, based on what I know about the industry, you have to work with different vendors working together to provide this SASE solution. But some companies like Fortinet, for example, claim that they have the ability to provide full-blown security along with SD-WAN. But that remains to be seen. I think over the next 12 to 24 months, we're gonna see a lot of strides being made in this regard. And I think we're gonna see some amazing leaders emerge in the SASE category that will provide a very mature solution that companies can take advantage of and save a ton of money along the way and provide this next generation WAN technology stack that has security very tightly integrated. It's not an afterthought, but rather security becomes tightly integrated into the entire solution. And that wraps up today's video. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.